Hello students, we are dealing the numericals of uh, ray optics in continuation that we will do some more numericals on today. Here we have first numerical on your screen. The numerical is three lenses L1, L2, L3 each of focal length 20 centimeter. First off, an object is kept at 40 centimeter in front of L1 as shown in the figure. Here the final real image is formed at the focus of L3. Find the separation between L1 and L2. Here we have three lenses L1, L2, L3. Uh, they have the same focal length. Focal length of each lens is given as focal length of lenses f equal to here it is 20 centimeter. Now final image is formed at the focus point of L3. That means here uh, suppose that x be the focus point of L3 then final image is forming at focus point of L3 which is named here as x. u is given as u is equal to 40 centimeter that is the object distance for lens L1 is u equal to 40 centimeter. Now we are asked to find out the separation between L1 and L2. Let us suppose the separation between L1 and L2 as d. So we have to find d, d equal to question mark. Now, According to the question, uh, the rays are meeting at focus point. It means that the rays uh, must fall on the lens L3 should be parallel to principal axis. So beam should come like this. This beam, I mean parallel beam, when falls on the lens L3, it will meet at focus point. Now, parallel beams are coming from lens L2. It can only be possible if the object lies at the focus point of L2. That means, uh, suppose that here the image is formed by the first lens L1. Let us suppose it is O dash. The O dash is the image formed by the lens L1 which is acting as an object for the lens L2. This uh, image formed by the lens L1 must lie at the focus point of L2 then only a parallel beam will comes out from lens L2. So, if I take this point as uh, P, then uh, this distance that is from O dash P, it should be 20 centimeter. Now, we have to find out the value of D. Uh, suppose that this is point Y. So, D will be equal to, D is equal to O Y dash plus O dash P. So, we need to find out Y O dash which is the image distance of lens L1. This is V which is the image distance of lens L1. So, we have to find out the image distance for lens L1. I mean the object is located at 40 centimeter in front of the lens L1. Image is formed at O dash which is at V distance from the lens L1 having the focal length f equal to 20 centimeter. Now, we will use the lens equation. So, lens equation is given by 1 by f equal to here sign convention is also to be taken uh, that is u is located uh, in negative direction of coordinate system. So, u should be minus. So, we know that the lens equation 1 by f equal to 1 by v minus 1 by u. Here we have to find the value of v therefore, 1 by v is equal to 1 by f plus 1 by u. Now, the value of f is 20 centimeter. So, it will be 1 by 20 plus and then taking negative sign here you get uh, plus 1 divided by minus 40. So, this plus and minus becomes minus. So, finally, you get 1 by 20 minus 1 by 40. So, we are getting 1 by v is equal to 1 by 20 minus 1 by 40. Taking the common denominator we get 2 divided by 2 minus 1 divided by 40 or v is equal to 40 centimeter. So, we got v equal to 40 centimeter. Now, the separation between lens L1 and L2 which is given as d. So, d is equal to v plus the focal length of second lens L2 which is equal to the value of v is 40 and the focal length of second lens L2 is 20. So, separation between these two lenses that is L1 as well as L2 comes out to be 60 centimeter. 
So the separation between the lenses L1 and L2 is 60 cm. Once again, an object is placed at O. Uh, lens L1 forms the image of this object which is at O dash at a distance of V which is equal to 40 cm. This should lie at the focus point of L2 then only a parallel beam beams will comes out from the lens L2. This parallel beams when enters into L3 it will forms the image at focus point. So, the, so we got the separation between lens L1 and L2 as 60 centimeter. Now let us see the second numerical. Here the numerical is a double convex lens of glass of refractive index 1.6 has both surfaces of uh, equal radii of curvature of 30 centimeter each full stop an object of height 55 centimeter is placed at a distance of 12.5 centimeter from the lens calculate the size of the image formed. So, here we have to find out the image size uh, let us see the numerical double convex lens of a glass of refractive index a double convex lens is there here we have a double convex lens whose refractive index is given as mu is equal to 1.6 and then as the radii of both the surfaces. So, here we have a principal axis radius for first surface is R1 and radius, radius for second surface is R2. So, we see that R1 falls towards the positive side of uh, coordinate system and R2 falls towards negative side of uh, coordinate system. Therefore, R1 is equal to 30 centimeter which is given in the question and R2 is also equal to 30 centimeter, but it lies towards the negative side that is why you have to take minus sign therefore, its value is minus 30 centimeter. Now, next is an object of height, height is also given, height of the object is given h1 equal to 5 centimeter and it is located, it is placed at a distance of 12.5 centimeter from the lens, u is also given. 12.5 centimeter from the lens. It is, it is also lying towards the negative side that is why you have to take minus. So, the value of u is minus 12.5 centimeter from the lens. We need to find out the size of image. Image size we have to find. Image size. Let image size be h2. So, we have to find out the value of h2. So, for finding the value of h2, we need to find out the magnification. So, we know the formula for magnification which is V by U. So, first what you have to do is you have to find the magnification by using the formula V by U and after that you have to compare that magnification with the ratio of H2 by H1 which is also a magnification. So, here we have to find H2. Now, let us try to find out the value of V. Now, the refractive index of the rarer medium or uh, you can take as mu1 which is equal to 1. Here it is mu2 which is equal to 1.6. Now, the object is located here. Uh, let us say it is h1 parallel beam comes to towards the lens and it will form the image somewhere on the other end. Uh, let us see this. So, the equation which connects the radius as well as the refractive index and image object distance is given by uh, we know from lens makers formula 1 by f is equal to mu 2 minus mu 1 1 by r 1 minus 1 by r 2 where r 1 and r 2 are the radii of the surface. So, we get 1 by f is equal to the value of mu 2 is 1.6 we can substitute here 1.6 minus value of mu 1 is 1 then bracket 1 by r 1 is 30 it is 30 then minus 1 by r 2 is minus 30. So, we get 0 0.6 multiplied by 1 by 30 plus 1 by 30. So, we are getting 1 by f is equal to 0 0.6 multiplied by 2 divided by 30 or further this can be written as uh, on multiplication with uh, 10 we get 6 into 2 divided by 300. Now, we know that from lens equation we know that 1 by f is equal to 1 by v minus 1 by u. So, let us equate this with that equation we get 1 by v minus 1 by u is equal to the value of 1 by f we already have here which is 6 into 2 divided by 300. 
6 into 2 divided by 300. Now, 6 and 300 can be cancelled with uh, 6, 6 ones are 6, 6 fives are 30, which is 50. So, we have 1 by V minus 1 by U is equal to 2 divided by 50. Again, it can be cancelled, uh, we get 1 by 25. Now, object distance is given here minus 12.5, substitute that value here 1 by V minus 1 divided by minus 12.5 equal to 1 by 25. So 1 by V is equal to take that minus minus becomes plus and then after that take this factor towards that side sign will change to minus. We get 1 by 25 minus 1 by 12.5. So, we are getting the value of 1 by V equal to take the common denominator here by multiplying 2 on the numerator of uh, numerator and denominator of the second term we get 1 by v equal to 1 by 1 by 25 minus 2 divided by 25 we have 1 by v is equal to minus 1 by 25 so we got v is equal to minus 25 v equal to minus 25 centimeter now the magnification here is magnification m is equal to v by u which is equal to 25 divided by the value of uh, u here is minus 12.5. So, it is minus 12.5 here also minus is there. So, we are getting magnification m is equal to on cancellation these two terms with 12.5 uh, you get 2. So, we got magnification is equal to 2. Now, use this magnification and take the heights of both object as well as image we get also we know that magnification is equal to h2 divided by h1 now put the value of m as 2 2 equal to h2 divided by h1 and the value of h1 is given which is 5 put here we get 2 equal to h2 divided by h1 is 5 now, we get h2 which is equal to 2 into 5. So, the image height comes out to be 10 centimeter. A thin convex lens of focal length of 5 centimeter is used to make a simple microscope by a person with near point, near point, full stop. What is the magnifying power? So, here in this question, a convex, convex lens is there which is used by a person who is having near point of 20 centimeter and you want to make the uh, you, you want to make simple microscope by using convex lens now we know that a simple microscope is nothing but it is a convex lens which produces the virtual image so let us suppose that here we have a simple microscope uh, say suppose that here an object is placed this object produces the virtual image somewhere here. Now, we need to find out magnifying power. So, for simple microscope magnifying power is given by m is equal to 1 plus d divided by f, where d is the near point distance that is distance of distinct vision. Here in this particular question distance of distinct vision is given by d is equal to 20 centimeter and the focal length of the lens is given f is equal to 5 centimeter. So, we have to find out the magnification. As the as I have written here the formula for magnification is m is equal to bracket 1 plus d by f. Now, substitute the value of d as well as f in the formula we get m is equal to 1 plus 20 divided by 5. Cancellation of this gives 4. So, m equal to 1 plus 4 which is equal to 5. Next we have a question based on compound microscope. The question is a compound microscope uses an objective lens of focal length 4 centimeter and eye lens of focal length 10 centimeter full stop. An object is placed 10 centimeter from the objective lens full stop. Calculate its magnifying power if the final image is formed at near point. Also calculate the length of the microscope. So, we have a compound microscope here. So, compound microscope consists of two lenses, convex lenses. 
Let us suppose that here we have a convex lenses, an object is placed, an object is placed. So, let us write the focal length. So, F O is given as 4 centimeter, the focal length of uh, objective is given 4 centimeter and the focal length of eyepiece is given 10 centimeter, F E is equal to 10 centimeter. And then an object is placed 10 centimeter from the objective. So, here object is placed at a distance of 10 centimeter from the objective lens. So, the distance is 10 centimeter. So, here U E sorry U O is equal to 10 centimeter. The object distance is given here as U O is equal to 10 centimeter which is negative. Now, next an object is placed at 10 centimeter from the objective lens. We need to find out the magnifying power M is equal to question mark. M we need to find. So, the ray diagram will be like this. Here it will uh, the object will form an inverted real image which will act as an object for the second lens that is eyepiece and the final image will be formed at distance of distinct vision D. So, here it is D. So, we know the distance of distinct vision is given by 25 centimeter. So, we need to find out the magnification. The formula for magnification is given by m is equal to v naught divided by u naught with negative sign multiplied by 1 plus d divided by f e. So, here we must know uh, the image distance of the objective lens, object distance of the objective lens and the focal length of the eyepiece in order to find out the magnification. Here in this particular question, object distance for objective is given, but image distance is not there. So, first we will try to find out the image distance V naught. For that, we will use the lens equation. The lens equation is given by 1 by F O is equal to 1 by V O minus 1 by U O. Here U O is given minus 10 centimeter, substitute that or 1 by V naught is equal to 1 by F naught plus 1 by U naught. 1 by F naught at the value that is the focal length of objective is given 4, we will substitute their values 1 by 4 then plus 1 by minus 10. We get 1 by V naught is equal to 1 by 4 minus 1 by 10. Here we have 1 by V naught is equal to 1 by 4 minus 1 by 10. Now, we are going to simplify this, we get 1 by V naught is equal to 10 minus 4 divided by 4 into 10 or 1 by V naught is equal to 6 divided by 40 or 3 divided by 20 or V naught is equal to 20 divided by 3 which is equal to 6.66 centimeter. So, we got the value of V naught. Now, the magnification is given by as I have written already the formula minus V naught that is minus value of V naught is 20 divided by 3, 20 divided by 3 multiplied by U naught the value of U naught is minus 10. So, it is minus 10 bracket 1 plus value of D is 25 which is distance of distinct vision divided by and the focal length of IP is given here as 10. So, put here we get minus minus get cancelled out, this this get cancelled out, you get 2 by 3 bracket 1 plus with 5, we get uh, 5 divided by 2. So, now uh, this will be 2 divided by 3 multiplied by 2 plus 5 divided by 2, uh, we get 2 by 3 multiplied by 7 by 2 or 2 to get cancelled out and finally, you get magnification is equal to m is equal to 7 by 3 which is 2 point 2.33. So, magnification in this case is come to, comes out to be 2.33. Now, here we need to find the tube length also. A tube length is given by that is the length between two lenses objective as well as eyepiece which is given by V naught plus U E. 
V not uh, we already calculated 6.67 centimeter. Now U E is not known uh, that is to be calculated. So for second lens that is eyepiece, the lens equation is given by 1 by F is equal to 1 by V minus 1 by U E. So we know that image is formed at distance of distinct vision. Therefore V E is equal to D. So here we can substitute the values. F E is equal to 10. This is equal to 1 by D. The value of D is 25 centimeter with negative sign now minus 1 by u e. So, u e we need to find 1 by u e is equal to 1 by minus 25 minus 1 by 10 or 1 by u e is equal to minus 1 by 25 minus 1 by 10. Now, this can be multiply it with uh, 4, I mean multiply this with 4, we get 4 divided by 100, here multiply it with 10, we get 10 divided by 100 for making common denominator. Here we have minus 4 minus 10 divided by 100. So finally we get 1 by u e is equal to minus 14 divided by 100 or u e is equal to 100 divided by 14. So, approximately it is it comes out to be 7.1 centimeter with negative sign. Now, here we got the value of u as well as uh, u naught as well as u e, v naught as well as u e. So, let us find out the value of L. L is equal to 6.67 plus this is 7.1, which is comes out to be approximately as 13.77 centimeter. So, the tube length is comes out to be here as 13.77 centimeter. Now, let us see the question on prism. Here we have a question, find the angle of a deviation suffered by the light rays as shown in the figure, full stop. The refractive index is 1.5 for a prism of small angle. So, here we have a small angle prism which is given in the question, the diagram is like this. Here we have a right triangular prism ABC. Angle A is equal to 4 degree. Now, the beam of light entering at one end, here it is uh, entering normally, I mean it is striking the surface normally, that is why it will move as it is. At the other surface, it will uh, emerge out from the other surface, so it will make uh, some angle of emergence with the normal, so it will deviate from its actual path. Now, the deviation angle if we assume as delta here in the question we are asked to find out the angle of a deviation delta. So, delta is equal to question mark prism angle A is given 4, the refractive index is also given mu is equal to 1.5. Now, we need to find out the value of delta, the relation which makes I mean which combines all these three factors is given by delta is equal to mu minus 1 bracket multiplied by A the prism angle. The refractive index is given here as 1.5 minus 1 multiplied by angle A is 4 degree. So, we are getting 0.5 multiplied by 4 which is 2 degree. So, the angle of a deviation uh, which comes out to be 2 degree, it means the emergent rays uh, deviates from its actual path by an angle of 2 degree compared to the incident beam. Now, here we have a question on uh, astronomical telescope. The question is the magnifying power of astronomical telescope in normal adjustment position is, is 100. The distance between the objective and the eyepiece is 101 centimeter. Calculate the focal length of the objective and eyepiece. So, here we have a telescope. Telescope contains two lenses again. One is objective, another one is eyepiece. Objective will have low power and high focal length and the eyepiece should have I power and low focal length. So, the given factors here is telescope is adjusted for normal adjustment that is image is forming at infinity and the magnification is given here as m is equal to 100. The distance between the objective and the eyepiece is 101 centimeter. The separation between the two lenses is given as 101 centimeter and then we need to find out the focal lengths of both eyepiece as well as objective. For normal adjustment, for normal adjustment, the 
magnification is given by f not divided by f e for normal adjustment the magnification is given by f not divided by f e so here the uh, for telescope the condition is f not is greater than f e so and the magnification the formula the value of magnification is given is 100 so put here 100 100 is equal to f not divided by f e we got an equation here f not is equal to 100 multiplied by f e cube length is also given 101 as it is the, i mean the rays are coming from infinity this rays forms image at the focus this image will act as an object for the second lens and it will form image at infinity only when the image formed by the first lens if falls on the focus point of the second lens so here the final image is forming at infinity so that is l must be equal to f not plus f e so this is only possible if the image from the first lens if falls on the focus point of the second lens so l is given here 100 101 101 is equal to f not <coughs> we can write for f not is equal to 100 multiplied by f e so here i am putting 100 multiplied by f e plus f e so f e can be taken as a common uh, we get 101 is equal to 100 plus 1 multiplied by f e or f e is equal to 101 divided by 100 plus 1 which is equal to 101 divided by 101 which is comes out to be 1 centimeter so the focal length of the eyepiece is comes out to be 1 centimeter now we need to find out the focal length of the objective for that purpose you can take uh, this expression focal length of the objective f o is equal to 100 multiplied by f e 100 multiplied by the value of f e is 1 we can put here we get 100 centimeter so we calculated the focal length of both the lenses and for eyepiece we got the focal length as 1 centimeter and for objective we got the focal length as 100 centimeter now we will see one more question on the prism the question here is the angle of prism is 30 degree the rays of incident at uh, 60 degree in one refracting phase suffers a deviation of 30 degree calculate the angle of emergence here the angle of the prism is given a is equal to 30 degree the rays incident at 60 degree that is i is equal to 60 degree in one refracting phase suffers a deviation of 30 degree deviation angle is also given deviation is equal to 30 degree we need to calculate the emergence angle e is equal to question mark e we have to find now we know the relation between angle of emergence angle of incidence prism angle as well as deviation angle that that is given by i plus e is equal to a plus delta here i is given 60 now substitute here e plus a is equal to 30 and then delta is also equal to 30 here 60 plus e is equal to 30 plus 30 we are getting 60 plus e is equal to 60 or e is equal to 60 minus 60 which is equal to 0 that means ray is emerging at an angle of 0 degree so diagram must be like this it makes an angle of uh, 60 degree with the normal 60 degree when it emerges at the other surface it makes an angle of 0 degree that means beam is moving like this such that the angle of emergence is equal to 0 degree so these are the questions we saw on today in our next class we will see few questions related to reflecting telescope thank you